Hello. In the last sessions, we were discussing about Newton's forward interpolation formula and Newton's backward interpolation formula. These formulae were used when the interval of differencing of the independent variable x was a constant. There are situations where the interval of differencing is not a constant. And on those situations, we will resort to some other methods for interpolation. Such a method or such a formula is called Lagrange's interpolation formula in which the interval of differencing h need not be a constant. One more speciality of Lagrange's interpolation formula is that in this method we will have a polynomial and the polynomial will have n terms and each term of this particular polynomial will have n factors in x or in other words, each term in this polynomial of degree n will be a polynomial of degree n. That is the speciality of Lagrange's interpolation formula. Let's start our derivation of Lagrange's interpolation formula. As in the previous cases, let's assume that there is a function f of x which yields n plus 1 values y0, y1, y2, etc y n corresponding to the independent variable x values x0, x1, x2, etc. up to xn. We can represent the function y equal to f of x by a polynomial uh, of degree n such as f of x could be written as a polynomial a0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3, etc. into x minus xn. This is the first term where we have n terms in x which forms the first term of the polynomial which is a polynomial of degree n itself. Plus a1 into x minus x0 into x minus x2, etc. into x minus xn. Mind you, in the first term, x minus x0 was absent. In the second term, x minus x1 is absent. Likewise, the last term is a n into x minus x0 into x minus x1 into etc. into x minus x n minus 1 where the term x minus x n is absent. So, this is of a formula this is our polynomial where we want to find out the constants a0 a1 a2 etc up to a n for that purpose we will have substitution for these x values at first let's substitute x as x0 let's put this as equation 1 then equation 1 becomes f of x0 which is y0 equal to a0 into x minus x1 becomes x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into etc x0 minus xn plus 0 because in the second term this x becomes x0 and this term vanishes and all other terms vanishes similarly. So, from this relation, we can find a0 as y0 divided by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into etc. x0 minus xn. Let's put this as equation 2. Let's put x as x1. Then equation 1 becomes f of x1 equal to y1 equal to the first term vanishes the second term is retained a1 into x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 into etc x1 minus xn all other terms vanishes from this equation, we have a1 as y1 divided by x1 minus x0 
into x1 minus x2 into etc x1 minus xn following the same method we can predict what will be a2 a2 l will be y2 by x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 into etc x2 minus xn and a n will be y n by x n minus x zero into x n minus x one into x n minus x two into etc x n minus x n minus one. Put these equations as four. Now let's substitute the equations 2, 3 and all equations represented by 4 in equation 1 to obtain our required polynomial as f of x equal to a0 into a0 is y0 by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into etc x0 minus xn this is a0 a0 into x minus x1 into x minus x2 into etc x minus xn so this is the first term of the polynomial plus a1 into a1 is here y1 by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 into etc x1 minus xn then what remains in second term is y1 into x minus x0 into x minus x2 into etc x minus xn plus etc let's write the last term as a n into a n is y n by x n minus x0 into xn minus x1 into etc xn minus xn minus 1 into x minus x0 into x minus x1 under etc x minus xn minus 1 so this is the required polynomial let's put this as equation 5 this formula is called the Lagrange's interpolation formula this is a big formula which can be represented in a shorter form also like y equal to f of x equal to l of x this l happens to be the representation of Lagrange Lagrange's interpolation formula Lagrange's polynomial is equal to sigma i equal to 0 to n y i l i of x which could be expanded as l 0 y 0 plus l 1 y 1 plus etc plus l n y n where this l i of x is the sum of j equal to 0 to n x minus x j by x i minus x j uh, where i could be 0 1 2 3 etc up to n and the condition is that j cannot be equal to i so this is lagrange's interpolation formula which is used for interpolation when the interval of differencing is not a constant